Hey everyone, it's Swanson here. In this video, you are going to learn what is and how to visual journal. Hey everyone, so I'm going to be showing you the two main methods that we're going to be using our sketchbooks in our media one, two, and independent study classes. The two main methods is going to be documenting your guys' learning and two, visual journaling. So some of you have probably noticed I have these two blue spiral notebooks. A few of you have gotten these ones, but if you've got the black hard bound sketchbooks, they still will work just the same. Okay, so the first way how we're going to be using our sketchbooks to document our learning is as the year progresses, you guys have gotten a couple sheets called video or web quests. Web quests are, are kind of like links to videos where you're going to be viewing and following along what is happening in the video. So to give you an example, in one video, I was working on some watercolor techniques and this was a series of actually two videos, but I put it all on one page. So the key things that I want you to put on your visual journal pages is obviously the title of the video that you were viewing, who it's by, and you also need to put the date you viewed the video. So on this page, it says, I viewed this video on July 20th. The reason why I want you to write down the date is because that way I can actually get an idea of when you viewed material. And as I viewed the video, I followed along the best I could. As you can see, these are actually like thick watercolor um, papers and I glued them into my um, sketchbook page. You don't have to actually paint on the paper in your journal. You can if you want to, but for um, getting to become accustomed to the watercolors and also just the different papers, I decided to actually just cut out some paper and then glued and stacked these papers on top of my actual sketchbook page journal journal page. That is completely okay. I want you to feel the need to organize your page in a way that makes sense to you. Um, I even did it um, like this. I even did a flip one. That's an option that you can do. In some of the videos that we're going to be viewing, you're going to be doing a grid like this when we get to watercolor. So I want you to organize the page in a way that makes sense to you. I also want you to be able to write notes to yourself on these pages. As you can see, I have the title of the video that I viewed as well as kind of who, um, who made the video. My date's down here. I also have a little notes to myself, like what, I, what worked or what didn't work when I was working on this particular page. Same goes for this one. I painted actually on the paper itself. You can do that. I want you to experiment and figure out what kind of paper is good and what kind of paper is bad when it comes to working with certain media. Either it be drawing, either it be painting, or a combination of all of both. I want you to kind of learn and discover what works when it comes to working with certain media and certain papers. The second way how we are going to be using our sketchbooks in class is the incorporation of visual journaling. Visual, visual journaling is you generally are making a page or crafting a page around some kind of theme where it combines both drawing, writing, um, sketching, painting, all those things into a page that makes sense to you. Similar to how we're going to be using uh, the videos to document our learning, I also still want you to date the page when you make it. So I made this page on July 29th, 2020. So actually not that long ago. And so these were just some things that um, I was using or just happened to be in front of me. I just painted things that I saw. This was my watercolor palette that I was using. Um, I even wrote down what materials I used. I want you to be creative with this. Uh, visual journaling should be contemplative. It could be fun, it can be relaxing. It also can be really difficult. And we'll be working together on how to accomplish visual journaling. In this class, you're going to be asked to make two visual journal pages a month. And it's quite a lot, but once we get the hang of it, it'll be really easy and also kind of like a fun outlet to kind of further develop your drawing and painting skills. But if you have any questions, please put some comments in the comment box or email me directly or send me a text through Remind. Okay, see you in class.